what's up you guys this is Rob from Gay Guy Plays and today we're actually gonna be rolling one ribbon but I wanted to kind of give some background on it now for a lot of the oh. hey what's up you guys this is Rob from Gay Guy Plays and today on the yet to be named ribbon reroll series I know I've been looking at all of the suggestions and I'm thinking that maybe the words ribbon and reroll are really not that important on it I'll, I'll figure something out that I like we'll see what what happens um, but I wanted to give you a bit of background on this. I've got one of my subscribers and one of my lovely viewers had actually donated a ribbon to me. And I actually want to go ahead and thank every single subscriber that has done this because there's a lot of people that have been doing it either from the streams or uh, just in the subscribers and just saying, hey, listen, Rob, I've got this ribbon that I'm not going to use. And he actually donated a Hema ribbon to me. So I'm super, super excited. But I'm also kind of conflicted. As you guys know, I have been saving. I've been saving, saving, saving because I'm actually planning on doing a like better than the best. So I have what I, I won't say what I consider the best, but they are my current best ribbons that are available to me. And I want to go ahead and reroll them and see if I can get something better. As you guys saw last time, I failed pretty epically. Um, however, this time I really am like a little child at Christmas. I was like, I cannot wait. I really just want to reroll this one. It's the same thing that happened with the Javlock. I wanted to go ahead and reroll that one as well. Um, but you know, I had other ribbons that were actually in the mix too that I could reroll along with it. But since I'm saving, I kind of wanted to hold off. Now what I wanted to display to you right now is the power of the Hema. So the thing about the Hema is it is a status based burst fire rifle. And as you can see, that was a level 145 Bombard. Um, now clearly, I'll show you the build on this right now. The build on this right now, and sometimes I mix it up too, because sometimes I'll take out Speed Trigger and I'll actually put in Guided Ordnance for um, more accuracy and whatnot to get better headshots. But this is currently what I'm using. It's not even super, super intensive. I think that I could, I might even be able to have gotten away with using one less Forma on the build. But the Hema is a pretty big powerhouse. If you want to see that again in action, let's do it one more time. Because what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to toss on a ribbon. Hopefully, hopefully it'll be good. Um, hopefully it'll be better than what we have right now. I really don't know what I'd be going for. Maybe um, status chance, base damage, uh, fire rate. I don't, I don't know. Just something, something yummy and delicious that hopefully can go on this. Because as you can see... It is actually, if we can take a look at it one more time, it's actually of neutral disposition. So it might not necessarily have something super strong on it, but it's going to be better than most of the faint guns out there. And I think, in my personal experience, the Huma is a complete powerhouse, but there is a but to it. There's a big but. You have to make sure to put on the appropriate elemental combo because this is an elemental based weapon straight out of the gate. So if you don't work that kind of work that angle to really kind of make sure that it's really it's working against your the faction that you're going up against wow that's just all let's just cut all that no um but yeah if you're not using the appropriate elemental combo you're not going to be able to take advantage of um the weaknesses that your enemy faction has and deal as much damage as you do i'm going to be 100 percent honest with you um the interesting thing that i've found is i've been using the what is it called the har pack as well which is another burst fire rifle i've modded it also for status but i feel like i can because of the fact that that weapon has ips on it i feel like it almost can get away with not necessarily always using the appropriate elemental damage like lazy days lazy days for rob when you see me and not uh, equip the appropriate elemental um combo so that's my current that's my current ribbon on it and that's kind of it's actually a very similar build now that i look at it so a very similar build i feel like i can get, get away with it a little bit more with the hard pack um not using the appropriate elemental combo but that is the one drawback to the hema is you really really kind of want to push the appropriate elemental combo so that you can kind of take care um take to, to, to deal the most damage against the enemies jesus what was all that that was just all kinds of disappointment rob Ugh. scripting has just gone out of the window and your content is just going <laughs> down the shitter <laughs> let's leave the relay i don't know do you guys get that bug a lot too when you hit leave relay it just kind of flips you back um that has like been one of my really like irritations i'm like ah i thought that they said that they fixed it a while ago but mm, did not quite so let's go ahead and take a look at the beautiful wonderful ribbon that we were gifted 
Um, as you can see, I did manage to pull off another ribbon the other day from the sorties, but it's a stinger. And I actually have, where's the laser rifle one? Laser rifle one. Now, if only I could get, what is the carrier's one? The sweeper? If I could get a sweeper prime, maybe I'd just do a whole fucking video just re-rolling, just re-rolling sentinel weapons. Um, but let's go ahead and take a look at this one right now. So it is cold, heat, and flight speed, and negative flight speed. Not something that we want. We want positive flight speed. So let's cross our fingers. I want to, as you can see right now, I know I keep shuffling back and forth. I'm at 128. I should have done like two more Kua missions. Ah, oh, that would have been 130. So I want to try to get this before I get down to the 100. Um, the 100,000 Kuva mark just because I still have another 100,000 to farm for that video So let's see how this goes. Please just give it to me easy. Just give it to me easy Critical damage the weapon like has no critical damage. So we're gonna say no um, now if, And then you know this wouldn't be a daily grind video if we didn't have a uh, or kind of chiming in now I want to say a lot of things there's have you noticed? It's the theme today is gonna be damage to Grenier, isn't it? Or it's gonna be Bane damage. Let's see what happens. Um, I don't want that. I don't want that. Actually, shit. What we should do is we should level this up so that we can see it straight out of the gate. Uh, exactly how powerful it is. Ooh, that's actually really nice though. That damage is not bad at all, but we want better. We want base damage. We want flight speed. Uh, base damage, flight speed. A fire rate fire rate is really good because oh my god rob get into the right windows you guys can just watch me fail today um all right so we're just gonna keep re-rolling this until it's something good <laughs> wait 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 we might be done <laughs> so uh 69.5 percent heat um 61 percent multi-shot that's actually not terrible because the multi-shot definitely helps with um status chance let's confirm this and let's just see how this fucking goes let's just let's confirm this oh my god for a second i had a moment i had a moment i really had a moment where i thought that i hit the button and i did not get the right one oh, see this is why face cam so important we're gonna reroll it one more time just to go make it to an even 10 and we'll see how where we go from here Oh, that's even... Oh. Oh. I think, I think, I think, I think we stick to this. I think, I think we stick to this. Right? I mean, I mean, okay. Okay. Motherfucker, I was not expecting to get a good one at 10. We have the damage to the Grenier. Oh, we have weapon recoil. Plus, okay, some of y'all, okay, some of y'all are gonna hate me. Some of y'all are gonna hate the shit out of me, but the 47.5% weapon recoil, okay, here's the thing. The Hema is great, but headshots heal you. Um, I'm gonna get so much shit. I just, okay. Get it out of your fucking system right now. Leave the comments, whatever you want to say, all the bullshit. But the 47.5% weapon recoil on a burst fire weapon that needs its accuracy and um, that needs accuracy for headshots. As much as I want to say yes to the 208% damage, I really feel strongly that I don't want to take it. The weapon recoil is not good. It's not good. Oh, I'm... Okay, just hate me now. Just motherfucking hate me now, okay? Just hate me now. Oh my god. I'm, I'm taking it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry because multi-shot also affects... Multi-shot also positively affects status chance. And this is a status-based weapon. So I'm gonna take this. Um, it's not always all about damage. But it's not necessarily not about damage. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna get so much heat. I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's all I can say. I'm gonna say it a million times. I'm sorry. All right, so here's a little bit of an addendum as I'm leveling this weapon up. First and foremost, um, <laughs> internet, you are not the only one who is angry at me. 
The Arbiters of Hexus also came to kill me because they were very upset that I passed up that 200% damage mod. And the Stalker also came in the previous mission. Both of them. Uh, two different missions, but they both came uh, on these missions to kill me because they feel your anger as well. I'm so very, very sorry, but it's <laughs> just... I just kind of felt like the mechanics on this um, didn't necessarily go as well with that ribbon than, you know, this ribbon does. And I think one of the things, and here's here's also another insight. This is actually the second time I'm saying this, mainly because I thought I was recording the whole time, and I wasn't. <laughs> I was literally sitting there talking to the camera, then I looked back and I was like, oh, well, I wasn't recording. And I actually got really scared because I didn't think that I recorded the, uh, the re-rolls part. And I'm like, Rob, you fucktard. You are such a fucktard. But anyway, so after those two uh, murder squads came after me, <laughs> um, I, I really kind of get get the feeling over this weapon, and I'm really, really super, super fond about how it's playing right now. I thought about it a little bit more, and the 200% damage actually reminded me of... Um, it's basically like Heavy Caliber, except with recoil instead of accuracy. And I know they're two very different things, and you compensate for each of those a little bit differently in your playstyle. However, I just felt that because of the Hema, the Hema's really, really good at getting headshots, or focused at getting headshots, I would say, and it really definitely helps the damage output of it, that having that kind of recoil on something that you consistently have to fire over and over and over was just going to hurt it more than it was going to help it, even though the damage would have been better. And that's kind of like something that's 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 difficult, because people will see that 200% damage, and that's something that you can measure. Um, that's something that you can measure on paper. And that's, that's kind of one of the big reasons why I always say, okay, you need to do in-game testing. And look, I mean, shit, I'm already a bad enough shot as it is. You see all those fucking missed shots? Think of how much worse that would be with fucking all the extra recoil, right? I can't do that. Can't do that. That's shit. Um, but basically, that's kind of what it all boils down to is the fact that it would have made the weapon unusable for me. Not unusable, but it would have made it really difficult to use and would have kind of killed the fun of the weapon for me. Um, which, I'll be honest with you, is a little bit a little bit less important than having fun with the weapon. Having insane amounts of damage on a weapon is great, but if it's not necessarily on a weapon that you are fond of, then kind of what's the point, right? Like if you can no longer have fun with that weapon because of the because of the change to its mechanical uh Mechanics. It's mechanical mechanics. <laughs> live commentary, you guys. Excellent. 10 out of 10 live commentary. That's what you tune in for, isn't it? <laughs> we'll work on that. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of that's kind of like my addendum to 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 this little part. We're gonna go ahead and get this leveled up, and we're gonna put it back into the simulacrum and see how it performs. Hopefully, it'll perform a little bit better. And you know what? I'll toss in I'll toss in a couple extra rerolls at the end of this too to see if we can nab anything better than what was put on the plate for me right now, but multi-shot, um, elemental damage, multi-shot, elemental damage, and, um, and flight speed, that was, I mean, that's really close to what I would have wanted. I would have wanted maybe status chance, base damage, flight speed, um, or accuracy. You know what? I still have yet to see accuracy on any of these mods. Have you guys, I, I, I believe I asked in a previous video if you guys had seen accuracy, and I don't think that anybody had responded saying that they had seen accuracy on a ribbon, which is weird because it's supposed to be, it's supposed to be any, you know, it's supposed to be any statistic that's out there, right? But accuracy, ac accuracy, but accuracy does not seem to be one of them, which definitely kind of uh, hurts my heart and soul. Okay, so we are back in the simulacrum, and I actually wanted to show you what it kind of, what that um, mod actually kind of improved upon. Um, so the original build, we're gonna take out speed trigger because it doesn't kind of influence exactly, like, it doesn't influence numbers that we should be looking at. So, the Hema Igni Con, I'm not even gonna, Con Sien, I said I was gonna not try to do it, but I did it anyway. So it's heat, multi-shot, and flight speed. So, what I originally had in this spot was, uh, thermal, thermal rounds, right? Thermite rounds, there you go. So, as you can see, it says it's 86.5%, it's 86.5% status with that build. We did end up 
Oh, I shit. I, that's in the wrong motherfucker. Can I put it here? Yeah, there you go. So what it actually goes to show is that I've only actually lost about 3% when it comes to status chance. However, I received additional multi-shots, so there's an additional chance for damage, and I've got the flight speed in there, which I'm happy about. I know it's not 200% damage, but I have to say that I am quite fond of it. So let's take a look at its performance now, see how much better it performs. I bet you guys are probably not even gonna see like a change and you're gonna be like, Rob, what the fuck is wrong with you, you dumb piece of shit? But let's go ahead and bring out our friend um, Corrupted Bombard real quick. Let's toss him back to 145 and see how it functions. Please be faster, please be faster, please. Don't make me feel like I made the worst mistake in the world. That feels pretty fucking fast. I mean, it feels, I won't say it feels significantly faster than the original, but the accuracy is there, the flight speed is there. It definitely feels, it definitely feels a little bit better. I can, I can feel it in my bones and and previous to this i've had to really i've actually had guided ordnance on there for extra accuracy because i wanted to hit those headshots so all in all i am i'm pretty fucking satisfied i am i'm pretty satisfied uh let's go ahead i promise you guys a couple additional re-rolls let's go ahead and take a look at that little sneak peek into uh the better than the best series let's see if i can hit this in one shot don't bug yet piece of shit <laughs> All right, let's get in here. Let's do a couple more rerolls. Let's reroll it to 15 and see if we get anything better. The, the issue is, the issue is right now I am happy. So I'm kind of like, well, how much happier would it be? Oh, I had a panic moment. I don't know if you saw it on my face, but I saw 69,000 endo and I thought that that was my Kuva. I was like, oh my God, I rerolled it more than I thought I did. So it, we're at 116. Let's not drop below 100,000. Um, I am quite happy with this, but as you know, I've got a touch of the FOMO, so let's see what what could possibly come out of this. Let's let's see. Punch through maximum ammo. No, don't feel bad about that. Alright, we're good. We're good. We're staying true. We're staying strong. The only thing that could really change my mind is maybe something with multi-shot and status chance. Um, multi-shot multi status chance fire rate, something like that. But really, I'm kind of happy with this. There's no critical damage. Okay. See, a part of me is feeling a part of me is feeling safe. Let's take a look at our stocks right now. We're at 109, so let's do maybe two more rerolls. I know we're gonna get to 15, and 15 is a much nicer number. But uh, I, let's. I don't want to dip. I don't want to dip. Okay. Plus weapon recoil. We've already said no to that, but it's got fire rate, which was nice. But yeah, we're gonna stick to this. All right. And last one, to feel kind of good, I'm, I'm like watching that number like a hawk because I don't want to drop below uh, 100,000. I worked so hard. Critical damage, damage to corpus fire rate. Okay, whoo, whoo. I am very happy with this. I don't know about the rest of you guys. Let me know how you guys feel in the comments below. Do not, do not kill me, okay? Like, I have, I have my reasons for why I like this mod better. I, and I know it's gonna hurt some people. Um, but I'm very happy with this one. So thank you for joining me on another edition of, this was like slash daily grind slash Kuva reroll. So this little weird hybrid mix. Maybe, maybe some of the Kuva rerolls will be a little bit more like this where we have some more testing involved. Let me know how you felt that kind of fit in. And as always, love somebody, hurt nobody, and touch your body. I will see you guys next time, okay? Bye bye